It has been five years since the death of a four-year-old girl galvanized the community against child abuse. Laura Kirtley gives us a look now at where we stand in this special report. In March 2005, four-year-old Ayana Govin was found beaten and bound in her Lafayette home after what police say was months of abuse and neglect. Her stepmother is now serving a life sentence for her death, her father a 50-year sentence for neglect. Now, five years later, people want to know how far we've come and if things have gotten any better. I think what is different for the community is their awareness that this existed all along. It's just been in the last four or five years that this community sees it on the front page. Director of Department of Child Services Angela Smith-Grossman says attitudes about child abuse and neglect have changed in Tippecanoe County. There's a lot more public awareness around these events, which we're grateful for, but by the same token can lead a public to believe that there's no... Um, there's not enough resources that are being allocated. Over the last five years, Smith Grossman says the number of abuse and neglect cases reported by the public shot up from about 2,600 cases in 2005 to nearly 4,000 in 2009. But the rate at which the department substantiated the abuse and neglect charges remained about the same. She says while there is no doubt there are horrendous cases of child abuse and neglect, like the death of three-year-old Kimberly Snow just last year, She's cautious to say conditions have worsened countywide. And it's always a shock when the, someone in the community is identified as a perpetrator of abuse or neglect. And individuals are surprised and shocked by that. It is surprising and shocked, but it happens every day to someone's kid. She says now that the community is engaged and willing to report abuse and neglect, they must find ways to stop it before it starts. Laura Kirtley, News Channel 18.